925photoshoptips.com. I want to show you how the arrow tool works for the paths selection tool and also the direct selection tool. So um, this uh, tool is, is uh, really a, a nice item if you have to get in and uh, select different items or paths within your shape and be able to make modifications to it. Now the first one is going to be your path selection tool that we're going to be working with and that's A on your keyboard shortcut. Um, with that um, you can do a couple of different things. One of them is you can make it larger, you can make it uh, smaller, you can make it skinny, wide, you can make modifications to it. You can also you know, uh, change the size of it in dimensions. If you push and hold the shift key down you can keep everything in proportions. Um, so once once you've selected and changed different items with that, just hit the Enter key and that will lock it in. And then the next item that we have here uh, is how a line would work. So a line, once again, we can make it bigger, smaller. Um, we can uh, move it around. You can do some different uh, selections with it. When you've figured out what you want to do, go ahead and hit the Enter and it'll stick in there. Um, and then the the uh, other selection in here is the direct selection tool and what that does is it allows you to select a specific point um, on your actual line or if you're working with a, a shape it will allow you to grab one of the handles on the corner so uh, let's go ahead and, and work with this so I'm going to select the center one here and, and here we can make adjustments to this line um, or if, if uh, you want to you know just grab different sections in it and move it around. You have a lot more flexibility here. And then on the shape, uh, to, to make a selection, you just select on the, the edge and there you can grab and make modifications to the shape and really, you know, work with it and modify uh, how the original shape has transformed.